When we celebrate uh, 100 years of Connecticut College's history, what we're really celebrating is 100 years of this relationship between faculty and students, the great teaching that goes into it, the incredible student experiences that we build here. That's really what this centennial is all about. Any student can walk across this campus and have a faculty member know them by name, stop and talk to them. You're really not just a number here. I mean, you really are very well known by your faculty. It looks like it learned really well. They're kind of cool, right? See how they're roly-poly? Yeah. yeah. What I love about teaching science here at Connecticut College is that uh, we're able to do research with students. I think the most valuable thing for students here is that they research uh, with their hands right on the electron microscopes, on the $60,000 microscopes, and working right with the faculty mentors. It's kind of like you're not taking the dig, but you are. I want my students to develop a critical perspective when they watch sports that it's not just the sport, this represents society. Because I always ask students, we have to ask value-free questions. Obesity's link a lot to what? So my classes are not just an abstract, but sort of a practical, and that hopefully when they become parents or when they become counselors, whatever they become, they can use that in their own lives to you know, impact other people. And I think the perspective is um, a comprehensive sort of web of knowledge that they're trying to weave for themselves in this liberal arts environment. But this one is a really versatile tool. The medium that I have, ceramics and sculpture, is a very active, physically um, demanding um, medium. And I think the experience of our students here and how I work with them is really quite unique and different than an art conservatory, private art school, or a university. You will have no lack of data. Every time I go into the classroom, something fun, something interesting, something helpful happens. Maybe it happens to me, maybe it only happens to one student, but I wouldn't want to differentiate, really, one moment for another. But if you have questions, I can answer questions. I'll stay till the stars come out. We're a highly residential campus and we want to make sure that we blur the lines between the classroom and the residence halls as much as possible. You really find more what we do outside of the classroom, the field trips, the talks in the hallway, the talks in Crow, has just as much impact as the reading and the writing assignments. The area of music theory that really interests me is music theory pedagogy, how to teach music theory. It's important for me um, to constantly evaluate how I teach. A dotted eighth note and three sixteenths. My work in the classroom directly impacts my thinking about music theory pedagogy, so I'm constantly practicing the, the, the sort of research that I think about all the time. The students see us as mentors and faculty that we are, but in our field we become colleagues very quickly. Also, I'm thinking of rounding a little bit here. The students impact my own choreography and my own teaching when they're the most present, and that's my job. When I can facilitate an environment where they are there, where they're loving to dance, then they teach me. They teach me how to teach, and they allow me to regulate what I want to be in my own choreography. The book that I am currently editing and just finishing started as a conversation with my students in class. It's kind of, again, a symbiotic relationship between my helping the student and then them helping me. I always have these incredibly enthusiastic students that want to learn to balance out what is sometimes the difficulty of the day in and day out of science. But I feel like I'm impacting science by sending scientists off into the world to discover new things, and it's great to see their successes. The more students flourish, the more their teachers flourish. You can't separate out the students from the faculty once you come into the classroom. It's mutual engagement with common intellectual interests that makes Connecticut College what it is, that makes the possibility of excitement ever present. I think the future of Connecticut College is going to look a lot like its recent history. We're building a place intentionally where faculty and students engage deeply, whether they're in the classroom or outside the classroom, over ideas, over problems, over uh, the whole world of the intellect, and truly that's where I think the future of the college is.